Hello people and welcome to the channel. The PSVR 2 has been with us for nearly two weeks now and people are encountering two problems. One, a blurry screen. Two, the Mura effect. So I'm going to see whether I can eradicate the first problem completely and reduce the second problem so that it's not as noticeable for you. Let's get straight into it then and remember we're born to respawn. PSVR 2 is finally with us, and if you went on Reddit, you would think it was the worst thing that's ever happened in VR. People are complaining about a blurry screen and something called the mirror effect. So I'm going to tell you how you can eradicate the blurry screen completely and how you can reduce the mirror effect. So first, open the settings menu, go to accessories, go to PSVR 2, scroll down, and there is a setup video to show you how to put your headset on properly. I would suggest you watch this. The main points for me are to make sure that the strap at the back of your head is as low as it can be, cinch it up not too tight, and make sure the display is just touching your face with the gasket leaning gently on your cheekbones. The PSVR 2 has a very small sweet spot, and getting that sweet spot is absolutely essential. Again, in the PSVR 2 menu, go to eye tracking and I would suggest you redo the eye tracking. Don't forget, you've only had this headset for about a week and a half and when you first got it, you didn't really understand how to put it on properly. So I would go back and redo the eye tracking. It only takes a minute or so. The IPD slider on the top of the headset is in the wrong place. It's so easy to catch the slider as you're putting the headset on. Make sure, possibly every time you wear the headset, that if it's a little bit blurry, go and check your IPD settings. This should, should completely eradicate the blurry screen problem for you. As you may or may not be aware, the PSVR 2 uses OLED screens, and this can cause a problem called the Mura effect. Mura is a Japanese word that means unevenness, irregularity, or blemish. In the display industry, this word has been adopted as the name for irregularities and clouding effects seen on OLED screens. So how can we tackle the mirror effect? Well, unfortunately, we can't get rid of it, but we can do something that can reduce it so it's less noticeable. Again, go to Home, go to Settings, go to Accessories, go to PSVR 2 and scroll down. You will see this display brightness and it's set to 100% by default. I would suggest you turn this down as low as 60 to 75% depending on the game you're playing. The mirror effect is most noticeable in Resident Evil Village. So if you have this game, then I'd suggest messing around with the brightness settings to see whether you can actually make it less noticeable. Well, before I get to my conclusion, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. And maybe consider subscribing or joining my channel membership for custom emojis, badges, and exclusive key giveaways. Thanks. So how do we get rid of blurriness? We make sure that our headset is sitting correctly on our head. We make sure the eye tracking is up to date and we make sure that we haven't touched the IPD slider on the top of the headset. This should get rid of the blurriness for you. We cannot eradicate the mirror effect, unfortunately. It is most noticeable in Resident Evil Village, as I said. So I would suggest you play around with the display brightness settings. Somewhere between 60 and 75% should give you that optimum reduction in the mirror effect. More importantly, have you got any tips that can help? Have you ever suffered from blurriness? Is the mirror effect spoiling the PSVR 2 for you? You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.